Jane from Mosley Park here and today I thought I would show you how I prepare my fiber to go into um, so I can dye it. Um, um, today I've got merino this is Australian merino it's 20 micron merino and um, I bought it it comes in a 10 kilo bump so for me I work in 100 gram portions and um, um, I weigh each one out and for me I just roll it loosely into a ball and weigh it. You'd be surprised how much fibre it takes to actually um, make it up and I usually weigh a minimum of about 115 to 120 and I always pull it apart don't ever cup it cut it so okay so that's 119 grams and then I just put them aside until I've got them as many as I want the reason I wind it loosely is so that when I soak them or the water can get into it and um, make sure they're well and truly wet saturated before I dye them, um, before I take them out to dye them, it just helps the, to get an even dye. Oh, can't even see my scales now. Okay, so right, 115. So my scales decided to add a bit extra. I might have to turn that off. Yep, that's better. Okay, so I just do. Because I work in batches of four, oh, it's a bit much. Whoops. Goodness, what is going on with my scales today? I might have to change the battery on them. Okay. So once I've got them as many in a batch, like four, I just put them into one of these mesh bags you can buy from any supermarket. And then I, because the zip's broken, I just put a rubber band on them. And then I put them into soak like that. When I take them out, I take them out like that and it's not until I'm ready to dye them that I actually open the mesh bag and actually pull them out. But I put them in the spinner, in the twin tub spinner to spin out a lot of the water in it before I actually take them out of here and dye them.